Hey, what's up? David Alex here for Ideas to Creations Quick Tip. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of color banding. This usually happens when you have not enough information inside your file and you end up with colors looking all... You get this circle of colors, especially when you use a vignette on a flat background, like this flat gray background I have going on here. Now, in this particular video, you probably can't see it depending on how it got compressed by YouTube and my screen capture software. So best to go try it yourself. Just add a dark gray background, put in a black solid, add a circular mask to it and feather it out quite a bit and zoom in to 100% when in 1920 by 1080 or whatever resolution you'd like and you'll find that you get color banding. Well, there's a few ways you can get rid of this. First of all is to change the bits per channel. Right now we're working at 8 bits per channel and if you hold down Alt and click, it's going to change the bits per channel and increase it and uh, it usually gets rid of most of the banding but in this particular case it does not it just seems to add more rings so to get rid of this once and for all and this is a nice old trick that comes from photoshop is to add noise so create a new adjustment layer add the noise effect and then just set the noise to one percent and it's completely gone Pretty simple, pretty quick. Uh, tune into at I2C blog on Twitter or I2C blog on YouTube for more tutorials. I tweet these things all the time, post them on Facebook and all that stuff. So uh, this is David Alex and I will see you in the next one.